we're going to look at association in the object-oriented paradigm. We can use association for relating classes with one another. So we're going to start off looking at composition association. This is where the child class cannot exist independently of the parent class. So we have the parent class already defined here. And we're now going to create our child class called salutation. And within salutation, we're going to create our constructor method. And it's within the constructor method that we're able to link the, the, the two classes together. So you can see here, greeting class here and greeting class there. So those are our two classes. Let's now create the object. And then if we do i dot greet dot hello save that and run it. We can see there that we're able to access this method hello hello here when we've created our salutation our method our, our object from salutation class there so that's composition association but if you look at this closely you can see that the salutation class cannot exist without the greeting class We can have another type of association. This is called aggregation. This is where the child class can exist independently of the parent class. So we're going to modify the code now so that we have aggregation association as opposed to composition association. So let's modify our imp uh, parameters for our constructor here. So let's just greet. And then we do greet equals there and then create a new create a new uh, object there called H and then we feed H into salutation so we bring the object into salutation there and then we do So run this, and then it's worked again for us. So now in this instance, the two classes can exist independently of one another. And so that's the fundamental distinction between the composition association, where the two classes can't exist independently, or, or the child class can't exist independently of the parent class, but in aggregation association, the two classes can exist independently.